So I enrolled for this course because I wanted to develop an understanding of Islam by myself. I enrolled in this course because I want to become a student of Deen and spread my religion worldwide. Originally, I enrolled for this course because I understand the weight uh, this knowledge holds and I wanted to benefit my community and family. Um, well, the main reason that I chose the Sufa over other institutions was because of the passion that the teachers show in, in terms of their teaching and I feel like they do it in, in hopes that it will inspire the students. I found that most of the institutes throughout the UK teach the Alimiya course in Urdu but English is my first language so I joined the Asufa because they teach in English. I chose Asufa over other institutes due to the fact that they do not only offer a high standard of Islamic studies but they also offer a high standard in the academic, academic side. My favourite lesson is Tajweed because reading the Qur'an is something which softens the heart and as the Prophet said, The best of you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. My favourite lesson is probably Arabic literature because the teacher we have makes learning so easy and so enjoyable. My favourite lesson is Fiqh because it gives me a deeper understanding on how you should worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't be doing that. <laughs> My favourite part of studying the Alimiya course at Asufa is the fact that the teachers are very approachable and understanding. I feel like they hold a high standard towards their teaching and you know what they expect of us and they also put in a lot of time and resources to ensure that we're able to reach our full potential. So one of the challenges I faced when I started in Asufa is that I was very shy and had little confidence. But Alhamdulillah through the years, especially Sheikh Zahid, uh, he pushed us on. Uh, he really gave us that boost in confidence, you know, through various ways. And alhamdulillah, um, that's one of the things I'm very proud of. The challenges that I have faced in a Sufa is doing a bayan in front of everyone. At first, when I joined a Sufa, I was very shy and my social skills weren't developed. But now, due to me doing presentations and bayans, my social skills have come to a point where I can talk to anyone and I, I am not shy as I used to be them before. Challenges I have mainly are to maintain good time management structure and to complete all work set by my teachers and to also consolidate my understanding. I have overcome these with the assistance and the advice from my teachers. Sufa has not only benefited me academically but has also instilled confidence in me. Yeah, so I didn't uh, expect to grasp the Arabic language at such a fast rate. I feel like one thing that people don't know a lot about is the fact that they offer a BA in your fifth year which creates more opportunities for you know, students like myself and uh, others as well and they have a lot of wisdom and experience so they're able to help you and tell you, you know, what would be best for your um, path. So uh, it's given me skills that I can use further on if I want to develop myself in other courses. What I'd say is don't be put off with this initial intensity because it gets easier and in the end you'll be really grateful. If they are willing to study, they should make a pure intention purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they should start studying now before they start as sufa. <laughs>